we both kind of grew up in agriculture just in a little bit different way and um, both grew up with cattle so kind of always they've always kind of been a part of my life um, as well different aspects but um, we're just kind of here today and I serve as the county extension agent here in Polk County now. Well, I was born in, into this operation. Back in 1921, my great-grandfather moved here uh, where we're standing in 1921 from San Juan, New Mexico. And uh, my grandfather, he ran all of his cattle out on the open range. <laughs> it was kind of funny when I was small uh, I'd say four or five years old. Uh, my granddad gave me a cow and my dad, they both gave me heifers. And uh, I sold one of them and from that one, by the time I went to college, I, I had built a uh, little herd of about 75 cows that I ran with my dad's cows. <laughs> dad allowed me to put, when I sold calves, put the money in the bank and that's what I went to college on at SAU in Magnolia. and had a yearling operation and I bought a set of yearlings one time, yearling heifers, and I told uh, my uncle who had found the heifers for me, I said, Dad will keep these heifers and make cows out of them. So we got back in the cow-calf operation at that point and, and uh, we built it up from about 150 mama cows to today we run close to 500 mama cows. Sustainability has become such a buzzword about what's going on in agriculture and I really didn't know how to define sustainability whenever I first started hearing the word. It's something that, that's been in practice on this operation forever. We're thinking beyond what's happening on just this farm. We're thinking of from, from pasture to plate. So we're trying to be a part of the solution and not a part of the problem. So it's it's up to us as far as um, us being not only stewards of the land, but stewards of these cattle too. It's something that we take pride in that that we can go out here and grow good forages and, and protect the water resources that we have and manage and raise a, a product that, that the consumers want. It's finding what works with nature and what works for us and, and helps us make a living. It's just part of my fiber to, to be here and to, to raise cattle and raise a product that the consumer's going to like and, and have it on an operation that will be here long, long after I'm gone. And uh, it's just, uh, it just takes takes a lot of a gut and courage a lot of times to, to, to face the challenges that we're facing right now. We, uh, you know, we, we, want, we want to make a living, but, you know, this operation wasn't made for high this high fertilized price and this high fuel prices. And, uh, you know, I just, you know, it, it's my goal this year at best to break even. I don't know. I think, like kind of Scott said, we're not only stewards of this land, but we try to be stewards of our environment as well. You know, we, we've been blessed to be able to put together an operation that brings us great joy and we enjoy people coming and seeing our operation and it does me good because you get in a work mode and you don't realize what God has given you. When visitors show up and tell you how pretty it is out here or how nice this is, it makes you step up and take a look and say, yeah, God, you're right.